Snapshot 22W42A. This may be one of the biggest snapshots that we've gotten for a very long time. First of all, had a lot of questions about this. This doesn't operate as your regular snapshot. You cannot toggle the snapshot features in existing worlds unless you did what I did, which is kind of dumb and not recommended, but I did it anyway because I'm Phoenix SC. And my cursed baby Phoenix SC pop vinyl is out now. Exclusive, limited time. It's not going to come back again. So go hug him. Okay, so you have to create a new world and then in this world menu screen, you click on data packs and you simply move these over. Bundles are, for some reason, experimental again. So just briefly on how to enable snapshot stuff on your existing worlds. In your snapshot enabled world, in your level.dat, if you scroll down to the data set, enable underscore features, you have update 120, bundle, and your regular vanilla one. Just move them over to your test world or whatever world you want to play it on, save it, and that's how you enable it. There are four major features in this snapshot. Hanging signs, this is how you craft them. Notice they use strip logs instead of planks, which is interesting. Yo, wanna hang, please sub. Done. Oh, it's one-sided. It's over here. And then you can also hang one underneath. Yes, I have sub. And you can also do it diagonally, which changes. I am not straight. I am, uh, you've got the diagonal chains if it's in the diagonal orientation. And you can also dye them like your regular signs and you can glow them like your regular signs. Number two, bamboo is a different wood set. It's crafted like this. And instead of bamboo boats, which would be a really cool name, it's called a raft and it pretty much acts the same way as a boat. There's actually no difference. I can't think of one. They just look different. Three, shoot up bookshelves are crafted like this with planks and slabs. Not just bamboo, can be anything. And you can put enchanted books, regular books, writable books, and written books inside. It doesn't matter which one you do. Now the really unfortunate part of this is even if you put them in like this, you cannot manually select the book you want. It'll always interact with the last placed one. So it will interact with the blue one and then five, four, three, two, one. You can't click on this one to get the first one out. It's always ordered. This does remove a lot of the functionality that I would have liked, but I can imagine why they didn't do it. It's extremely complicated. I still love chisel bookshelves. Just slightly disappointed. And number four, giraffes. Yes, they finally added giraffes to the game. There seems to be one per desert village every time that I've looked for one. Locate structure desert. There will be a giraffe over here. There we go. So there's your giraffe. And you don't need to tame it. So you right click to interact and you put a saddle on the giraffe. And you can now move it, but it's also very slow. And they can... What? What? And if you do it well enough, they can jump over ravines. Like, you can jump over this gap by doing this. And it has to rest after that. They are very lazy creatures. They love to sit down and gaze. <laughs> Oh wow, you got so tired after that. They can walk over fences without a sweat. What's a camel? And I think the best part about them is the Easter egg that no one has found out about. So if you name tag it with Jeb underscore, which creates a Jeb sheep, as you know, but if you apply it to the giraffe, this happens. Oh, hey Jeb. 